Smithy, when I'm with Brad Fittler, he talks about setting up your day, you know, in a way that the first two or three minutes you're awake sets you up in such a way that you can't have a bad day. I went with him last week out to the country and he said, how many of you have your mobile phone in your bedroom? Everyone puts their hands up. We're not doing it anymore. You've got to buy an alarm clock. And they look, these young kids are going, what's, what's, what's an alarm clock? They've got no idea because <laughs> it's just on the phone. Yeah. You've got to wake up, go to the toilet. You've then got to come back to your bed and make it. You've then got to sit on the end of the bed, have a glass of water, then you have to breathe. Five seconds in, five seconds out for a minute. That's the process that the New South Wales Rugby League team go through when they're in camp. No phones in their rooms and they've got to go through that process. They then walk downstairs and someone gets picked out to talk for 10 minutes from the moment they were born to the moment they're standing there. Blokes that run in that cauldron with so much bravado find it very hard to get up and talk, but they've got to practice it. Yeah. Got to keep practicing it. Just like you have to practice with your cricket. Yeah. So I think that's sort of the, the way forward. To make those right connections, you've got to be real. You've got to be human. So Smithy, as you can see, it's a pretty easy sort of process, but it's a matter of obviously backing it up. You've got to do it day after day after day. Um, it's worthwhile, everyone here that loves your show, they should all start it. They should all have a crack at that. Do it for a month and then you'll never go back.